Um, but yeah, I mean, a big talk about like, as always, when somebody gets announced, they're like, whoa, who's going to induct him? Who could it be? You know, right. like, you know, uh, there's been some names out there. Obviously, I've been making the play for you, like why you would be a good uh, reason, person to induct him, obviously. And then there's other names like Steve Austin. People mentioned CM Punk's another one. Um, Tommy Dreamer's another one maybe out there, too. Well, how, how do you feel about that? Uh, you know, uh, who do you think should induct Paul? And uh, what, what, what do you think on that level? I, I think they can definitely find somebody better than me. You know, it would be an honor. If, and, of course, if I was uh, nominated and, and asked to do it, I would give it my best. And I think that I would want input from other wrestlers, too, that I think should have got picked probably over me. I mean, Dreamer, Bubba, Taz, those guys, they know Paul a lot more than I do. They were in New York. I would see him on the weekends. They'd see him all week, too. And they were there in the office in the production uh, studio helping move the TV forward, uh, 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 also with the merchandise and just booking towns, everything. They really worked with them. Um, and, and so there's that. And then even before ECW, you know, he managed a lot of wrestlers. And uh, some of them could probably tell some good stories about Paul transitioning from being the the fan that was selling programs to the camera guy to, uh, you know, actually managing talent or However, might have, if that if that pathway is flawed, then um, excuse me, but it was something like that. And I know we were, uh, you know, the Samoans. I don't know if they speak English uh, that well, but uh, um, there's definitely some other. Uh, I mean, I don't know uh, franchise Shane Douglas. I'll put him on my list, and I don't know what their relationship is, but um, that's that's how I feel about it. You know, I'd be honored. Of course, I would do it. I would want input from everyone else and and i feel like i only knew one maybe two sides of paul yeah well <laughs> i think it's cool though like just knowing how you handle yourself on the podcast here and the way you kind of deliver stuff whether it's our ideology or something like that it's like i know even off the cuff off the top of your head i'm sure you could give something like that's really good for paul and like really conveys who he is as what he did for you and what he did for others too and you know, so it, it's going to be interesting. There's a lot of good names that I think could do it. And Paul's influenced so many people. You just even look at it now, like him being with Roman Reigns and the bloodline and stuff like that. It's like big name after yeah. big name and stuff. Yeah, and I wonder if maybe they'll go with someone along those lines to induct him because it would be more consistent with the bullet points that they're that they're trying to make that week with business and with mania and um you know, if not, if not one of the young bloodlines that he's managing, maybe someone in their family. I don't know. Um, I, I could see them going with like that, which could be a current angle, but it's where they're at right now. Also, yeah. as opposed to, but I don't know. I just found out there's no categories. I, I thought like I, I, I had heard they were going to do like an extreme wing or something. And then and I was talking to, I think, Bill after the other day and I was saying, what, what? what is the category that Paul's in? He's like, no category. He's just like you. I said, really? Yeah. Like, what about like um, Pete Rose? Doesn't he have like a special celebrity? There's a celebrity wing. They do have a celebrity wing. Oh, they do? Yeah, there is a celebrity wing. So Pete Now Rose... I'm more confused than ever. Thought yeah. I understood it and you just threw that at me. Well, okay. So I think that's the only, well, no, not technically too, because I do. There's think a there's warrior. A... There's a warrior wing. There's a warrior award. So somebody like, uh, like a Shad Gaspard or something would win the warrior award who won it, I believe, two years ago, maybe. But, like, somebody that's done a lot, you know, or, like, overcomes right. something. And then um, there is the the celebrity wing. So, you, I think there's names like Donald Trump, Drew Carey, um, Pete Rose, uh, Mike Tyson, I believe, is in that wing. Uh, Snoop Dogg, I think, too. There's some others. And, um, and, and, but so my understanding now is that wrestlers or – what, I mean, I don't know. He's, what's he getting in for? Is it for being a manager or for being a, a, a booker? Or I think it's all around. Okay. All around. Because, like, there is, there's the, just the, your, like, structured Hall of Fame. Like, so you're in there, you know, like, Bruno's in there. You know, name everybody. Steve Austin, whoever, you know. And Paul is going to be a part of that. Now there's also a legacy one, which is people that weren't necessarily involved with WWE, but still had like a bigger impact in the business, like in, a, in an earlier time. So like Luthez or a Frank Gotch or what? Bobo Brazil. Yeah, there's there's a, an underlying 
wing, basically. How about the- how about like Greg Gagne, um, his dad? Burn, uh, I, th- Burn I think, is in your Hall of Fame. So he's a okay. part of your guys, I think. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So I don't know how they distinguish it between one another. Like Bruiser Brody's in the other one, you know, in the, in the other wing, the legacy wing. And when I introduced the Sheik, maybe he's in the legacy one? He might be in the legacy one. I'll have to double check on that one because, mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, but yeah, there's a core one that all the names – you know, when they have their induction speeches or like they have a moment for them, that that's the one Paul is going to be in along with you and, you know, other. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's great to see him get his flowers and, and what an important man behind the scenes he is. Yeah. hundred percent. Jeez. All this, you hear everybody talk about him in certain ways and what he's done for them. And, you know, even you just mentioned it too, like the people that, you know, the younger talent that, that kind of goes to him and like, I'm sure he was very proactive backstage and like, kind of giving people input and stuff. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Definitely congrats to Paul Lee. 